So this might not look like much now, but this is actually a second screen for my computer. And this has helped me be more efficient while I'm working from home or while I'm traveling to be able to have that second screen when I'm not home with my big PC. Now, let me uh, set it up, show you how to hook it up to your laptop and um, show you some more of the features. So here's everything that comes with it. You have all your cords, your quick start guide and your user manual that make it really easy. Follow all the steps in there and in here and it'll help you to get set up. But I'm going to make it real simple. Comes with three different cords. And so if you're going to do just USB-C to USB-C like I will with uh, my MacBook, then you just need this one cord. Now, if you're going to use it in a different way, you don't have that, that port. You have a USB-C to USB-A, and then you have a HDMI cord. And so these two you need to use together if you're going to do it a different way. Otherwise, you're going to use this one. That's what we're going to use today. But it comes in this nice faux leather case which has a hardened, maybe like a piece of acrylic or something in here to keep this from bending or if you drop something on it, this is gonna kinda stop that. So you can see it's pretty, it's pretty thick. But the screen's in here, so you take the screen out and then you're gonna open it kinda like a book. These little tabs go on the top. They hold the top of your screen. So this screen goes on the right side. And so you open this up right here and there you go. Now these two little arms here are what hold the outside of your laptop and you just pull it very gently out and it will adjust to multiple size screens because I'm actually using this on a 16 inch screen and not a 14 inch and whenever you close it you want to make sure that those little arms fold in correctly and uh, you don't force it close. Also on the back, I want to show you that real quick before I put it on the laptop. Uh, this little arm right here, it spins and I thought it was too short because I really didn't like that angle. I like it, my screen a little bit more up, but it actually slides out. Look at that. So you can get those different angles by just sliding the arm here. And then when you're done, slide it back in, turn it, and close it. Now on the bottom is your ports. So you can see right here, your power port, USB-C 1 and C2, and then here's C3 USB with power. So they have it all right here. Now, uh, and it's also on this sticker. I left that on there just for a reference for me. Um, so you just turn that like that. It's just a little kind of flip button and that turns it on. So I'm gonna put it on my laptop and plug it in. Again, installing it is simple. You just slide it over your screen. Make sure that the little arms on the top, the little tabs on the top are holding and the little arms on the side are holding. And then you turn it around and put that kickstand up and put it at the angle that you like. So it works pretty well. Now as far as plugging it in, I'm sure you can plug it any way, but we're gonna use the 90 connector on the back and then plug in the straight connector on the side. All right, so this is it. It boots right up. It put my screen over here. It made it real simple, but if it doesn't come up for you, it's in the setup guide, the user guide. One thing that I had to do whenever I first set it up was the resolution and the size. So I had to put it on the right side, just like this, it shows you right here, you move it to the right side, right where you want it, where your, your mouse will cross over like that. And also the resolution. So the resolution wasn't the 920 by 1080. So I changed the resolution. As you can see, if I take this window and I move it over, it auto adjusts to the right size. So that's pretty cool. So it makes it real easy. And you might have to change the color match um, in the display settings. So, you know, just get a document and put, uh, you can put it back and forth and kind of see how the colors match up. But that, that, that's easy to do. Again, it explains how to do all that in the uh, user guide. And I did want to mention one more time that the USB-C needs to be plugged in USB-1 or C1 on the back. But if you're going to use the HDMI, this is the power cord, so you use the C to go to USB-A, and then you have this one going to HDMI. So you need both of these together or just that single one? Just I just wanted to you know, make that clear. Also, if you haven't seen the notes on the screen, it's um, 4.5 millimeters thick, 600 grams. It's 14 inches, 920 by 1080p, and 60 hertz refresh rate. So that's about it. It's been a great second screen. I love using it. I think that it's very simple to set up and easy to use and I look forward to using it more in the future to help be more efficient and get my work done 
even faster.